The legendary electric and dragon type Pokemon Zekrom is currently in raid battles and this is one Pokemon you do not want to miss out on mainly because it is the absolute best electric type currently in the game and of course with Zekrom it is very similar to Reshiram in its stats and its abilities so you will be able to two man this boss if you bring the right counters if you have the right conditions and that is precisely what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. Alright let's jump Jump right into it. How's it going everyone? It's me, It's Count, here with a brand new raid guide video. Today I'm going to be covering Zekrom, more specifically how you can two-man this boss. It's actually quite simple, you just need the right counters and the right conditions. Zekrom is very similar to Reshiram in terms of stats, so it is definitely doable, but you will need the right conditions and you will need to watch out for certain movesets. Zekrom is of course the absolute best electric type currently in the game in terms of raid DPS. And in terms of the Master League, it could find some uses as well with a lot of type coverage. So Zekrom is definitely one you will want to get. Now getting Zekrom is actually pretty easy. Granted you have a team full of ground types or other dragon types and you will be able to take down this boss. Now real quick, let's take a look at Zekrom's stats. So first and foremost, his perfect IV CP is going to be 2307, very similar to Reshiram. And if it's weather boosted, you're gonna wanna look for a 2884 Zekrom. That's gonna yield you a perfect IV. Now of course, because Zekrom is an electric type and a dragon type, the weather boosts that it's going to get is with windy weather and rainy weather. And of course, because Zekrom is an electric type as well as a dragon type, you will have a lot of different varieties of counters that you could bring to Zekrom. But if you're looking to two-man this boss, you will need the absolute best of the best DPS going up against him. Now my suggestion is that you have two teams of different types that you can bring depending on the situation. So for example, if you have a sunny weather boost, which is pretty common, you will want to bring a full team of ground types, especially if it has a bunch of electric type moves. But if you don't have the sunny weather boost, then I highly suggest you bring a full team of either Palkias or Rayquaza. Rayquaza, of course, is a glass cannon, so he will get melted down by a lot of Zekrom's moves. But if you are going up against a really easy move set like Charge Beam Flash Cannon, then Rayquaza will be the best options going up against this Pokemon. But if you're going up against any move set that doesn't have electric typing, then Palkia will dish out just a little bit more damage. It does have a much higher T. So yeah, Palkia is my suggestion, but Rayquaza is a great choice as well. Now let's say you have that sunny weather boots, then I highly suggest you bring a full team of Exadrill. Exadrill is of course the best ground type currently in the game, and you could definitely use that to your advantage up against this Pokemon, mainly because ground types do resist electric types, so you will be able to take on some of those electric type moves. Now Zekrom is very heavily move dependent. If you want to two man this boss, you will want to avoid the moves Wild Charge or Outrage. Both of these moves dish out just way too much damage even if it's neutral damage and you will want to avoid those if you want to successfully two-man this boss. The absolute ideal move to go up against is Flash Cannon mainly because a lot of your Pokemon will be able to resist this particular move especially the Dragon types and your Ground types and then on top of that it does take a while for him to charge up to and it is a very easy move to dodge. It is the absolute ideal charge move to go up against, but let's say you can't find a flash cannon Zekrom, well, you will want to look for one with Crunch. Crunch is a little bit harder to dodge, but it is a neutral damage charge move that you can very easily survive. So Crunch and Flash Cannon, those are the charge moves you will want to look for if you are trying to two-man this boss. And yes, it is technically possible up against a wild charge Zekrom, but again, it's just extremely difficult. You just need Need the absolute best counters, the absolute best ground types, and you will need sunny weather boost, and you will need best friend bonuses, and all of that. So I highly suggest you just go for the flash cannon Zekroms and skip out on the wild charge and outrage. Now I'm 
mentioned at the top of this video that Zekrom has a lot of different weaknesses and you can bring pretty much a whole bunch of different Pokemon to defeat this boss. Well, it's definitely true. Because of his dragon typing, he is also weak against fairy types. So if you do not have good ground types and you do not have good dragon types, fairy types can be very useful as well. Now you could also bring good ice types as well, like Mamoswine could be a really good option, but these Pokemon will not dish out enough DPS for you to two-man this boss, but if you're looking to just defeat him without actually two-manning him, then these are really great counters as well. Now, like I said, Zekrom is the best electric type currently in the game in terms of raid DPS. You will want to get that charge beam and wild charge moveset if you're looking to use Zekrom in raids, but if you do not end up getting a good Zekrom, there's still plenty of other Pokemon that you could use as an electric type, so do not feel worried. I know we're all going through a quarantine right now, so it's really difficult to go out and raid, but fortunately Zekrom is too manable, so if you and your best friends want to go out and raid this boss, you will be able to defeat it. The absolute bare minimum of trainers that you need is at least about four trainers if you want to defeat it without two manning it, but yeah. The absolute bare minimum that you will need for this boss is about two to three trainers, but if you're not looking to two man it, if you're not looking to complete this raid challenge, then I highly suggest you bring about four players. You will be able to take it down pretty easily, but yeah, it just all depends on the counters that you have. I mean, the better counters that you have, the less players you're going to need. That's really what it's going to come down to. And of course, like I said, Zekrom is definitely one Pokemon you will want to focus on because of how powerful it is as an electric type. Even as a dragon type, it can be really useful as well. With both Zekrom and Reshiram, they kind of remind me of Groudon and Kyogre. Both of those Pokemon were extremely useful at the time, and in most cases, they still are. But yeah, these are Pokemon you definitely want to treat just like them. They're definitely Pokemon you will want to get high IVs of. And to close this video off, just like I mentioned with every single one of these guide videos, you will want to bring the absolute best of the best conditions as opposed to just the best Pokemon. You will want to make sure you're best buddies with your friend so that you get that best friendship bonus. And then of course, if you have a best buddy Pokemon that you could use, that's going to be really helpful as well. And of course, just weather boosts and movesets. These are all things you will want to look out for. And if you do, you will be able to easily two-man this boss. But that's gonna be it for this raid guide. I really hope you enjoyed it. Share your wins down below. Were you able to pick up a really good Zekrom? Are you able to two-man it? Have you two-manned it? I would love to know. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you share it with your friends, especially your raid mates. Even if you're not looking to two-man, there's a lot of helpful information in this video. But yeah, that's it. So happy raiding, good luck. I am Count Chinsula. And I'll catch you all later. How's it hanging everyone? Before I end this video, I want to give a quick plug to my Patreon page. If you want to support this channel, I highly suggest you go and check out the link in the description below. Every little bit helps when it comes to these YouTube videos. So if you want to support this channel, if you love the content that I'm producing and you want to contribute, definitely go and check it out. I have a lot of nice perks like if you want to be on my permanent friends list or if you want to get exclusive content or participate in exclusive content that's coming soon definitely go and check it out and to all of my patrons I thank you for supporting my channel I really hope you enjoyed this video everyone and if you did don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell so you stay up to date on whenever I upload videos follow me on social media at Count Jinsula leave your thoughts in the comments below and yeah have a great day I'll catch you all later